This study is supported by a seven-year million, a seven-year million dollar, three million dollar grant from the National Institutes of Health. So what I wanted to do was look into the combination um, flu vaccines that were administered to horses on that very track in Florida that will have had a chance to communicate with the dog, the racing greyhound, that then spewed forth this new uh, canine problem to the um, increasingly, you know, increasing areas. The H7 serotype is in some of the equine vaccine, uh, flu vaccines that are administered. And guess who owns that intellectual property for the vaccine, which now mixes the H7 and the H3 N1 together. It is none less than the United Nations. And the organization I had listed wrong, it's called WIPO, the World Intellectual Property Organization. So all of these alphabet soup groups, the the UN is actually the holder of the intellectual property on the gene sequences of what get put into these vaccinations. And the World Health Organization has obviously already been set up to take over control of these countries, which I didn't know until, you know, Jane produced that information. But this is how it will go down. They are utilizing animals with their intimate relationships with human beings to be able to help foster the development of a pandemic virus. There is a book online by Dr. Michael Greger. It's called um, The Bird Flu, A Virus of Our Own Making, Our Own Hatching. He is the Director of Public Health and Animal Agriculture for the Humane Society of the United States. There's over 3,200 references that connect why these viruses come out of the very use of the vaccinations that we use in veterinary medicine. He's an MD doctor, but he's also a Director of Public Health. And if you want to access that information, and like I said, it's hard to fight with 3,200 references but it's, flu, it's birdflubook.com, and that's available online. Okay, so we have the makings of a pandemic virus, and we have clearly the interaction of people that should be protecting our health, and no, they are not. They have quite a different agenda. Well, not only do they have a different agenda, I mean, that's like putting it mildly. They are combining all of these things, finding, as you've said on previous shows, having their virus hunters to go out to find the most lethal versions possible, and then making them their intellectual property. I mean, this is insane, people. This is insane, and I really think the people are getting it.